Hello there, it's been a while since I last uploaded on YouTube, but welcome back to Oliver Belusic's financial portfolio, and today is a different video. As you guys know, I've been working on my debts. That was until this March. I received four, that's right, four letters from Marston. Now I know what you're thinking. How the hell, Oliver, have you been able to get four letters from Marston's? Wow, you must be really special. But let me just explain real quick because I'm a little bit annoyed and I'm asking you guys for advice on this because I, I don't know what to do. I don't. So originally I had two letters sent to me on the 17th of March, followed by two more letters sent on the 23rd of March. That's right, they were sent within a week. Now, they're actually for two fines, and I got two letters for each, hence why I got four letters overall. But my issue is, is I paid the fines. Like, this is, this is the annoying bit. So these fines aren't related to my previous fines, which I've been paying off, which are from years ago. These ones are actually from last year. And it's a little bit annoying, because I paid them. They were dart charge crossings from Dartford in the United Kingdom where you pay to go over a bridge each way and you have to pay within a certain amount of time. Now unfortunately on this specific day I had a lot of things going on and by a lot of things I mean there was a lot of family related stuff going on which was very unfortunate which resulted in me paying my fines off late and I didn't pay them much off late I paid them maybe 12 hours late or so and I've been in contact with the Dart Charge people and one guy had a go at me down the phone and I've been trying to do the T TE7 and the TE9 forms and I've been going back and forth, back and forth. But anyway, that doesn't matter obviously because letters from Marston's have appeared and it seems that these debts which I have paid, yes granted I did pay them late, have now spiralled from a couple of pounds each to £190.50p each. So, of course, at the moment, Marston's can't turn up because of, you know, the whole COVID situation. So they've actually sent on this form, they've sent me a nice... I, so on two of the forms, they've actually sent me a nice little cheque that I can pay all their stuff to. That's great, isn't it? They've given me the option to pay. But why is that fair that I should pay? Why should I pay £381 for debts that I've already previously paid? I personally don't feel that's fair and I'm coming to you guys for help because I'm a little confused. <laughs> I paid them, I paid them late. They seem to have not responded to my ETE7 forms, my TE9 forms and now I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to go to Citizens Advice Bureau or get a lawyer involved or something but ultimately these debts I paid off and I have evidence of me paying these debts off back almost a year ago now. So thank you so much Highways England for uh, sending my debts off to Marston's even though I paid them. I haven't acknowledged these debts yet. Now that's one thing. I mean I've been in contact with Highways England but I haven't actually acknowledged the debts to Marston's. Now I got told that previously in a comment on this channel where they said about acknowledging the debts and I haven't acknowledged them to Marston's and do they have evidence of it? Well yes, of course they have photos of my car going over the bridge and well yes, I have evidence of me paying it off on my bank statement. It unfortunately has been paid off late. It was paid off late and I don't know what to do. And considering the unfortunate family situations that happened, I was hoping that I'd get some response to my T7 and T9 forms for compassionate reasons, and it seems I've got no response, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's, it's more debts, more debts that I can't really afford right now, unfortunately, but once these are paid off, or once these are sorted out, then they're done, and this is the main thing, because once I'm able to get them gone, then that's one thing more off my chest, as, I, as you guys know, I've been paying off my debts massively. Yeah, I've been paying off my debts massively and I'm getting there. So, yeah. Anyways guys, I just thought I'd let you know about my little bit of debt situation and I'd love for everyone's opinions down in the comments below because I do need a bit of help and of course I'm going to be posting on Beat the Bailiffs and everything like this. I just do not understand when I've paid it. <laughs> Why have they gone to Marston's? Why have they become debts? It's something that now needs to be sorted properly. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this video. Adios my Miss Amigos, I shall see you guys all in the next one, which will be up very soon. I've got a few more videos about investing to come out very soon. I still need to record those, but I've got a few things which have been going on which I think you guys might be interested in, so let me know in the comments below if you would want to see those sorts of content. But until then, adios my Miss Amigos, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Like this video! I try to be everything that I can
Sometimes I come out as being nothing I try to be everything that I can But sometimes I come out as being nothing I pray to God that he make me a better man